Hey everybody, this is Heidi with another knitting stitch tutorial. Today's stitch is the box stitch, a reversible two over two um, easy four row repeating pattern. The box stitch makes great baby blankets and adds texture to any sweater pattern. In front of me right here, I have the box stitch, which is as easy as doing a knit two, purl two rib, but flipping it up in row three. Let me show you what I mean. So on my needle here, I have 10 stitches cast on, but any multiple of four stitches plus two works for the repeat in the box stitch. So we're gonna begin by doing knit two stitches, and then we'll do purl two, knit two across. So that was knit two, then we'll purl two, knit two, purl two, and knit two for the first row. Now we'll turn our work to the other side and we'll do the exact opposite. So we'll begin with purl two, and then knit two, purl two across. Knit two, purl two, knit two, and purl two. Now on the next row, once we turn to the other side of our work, right now what we're looking at is the foundation of essentially a two over two rib stitch, so knit two, purl two. But for the box stitch, we're going to reverse it in this, the third row. So instead of starting with knit two like we did on the very first row, we're gonna do the same thing we just did in row two, which is purl two. So we're gonna purl two stitches. So we're doing the opposite of what we see below us in our knitting. And we're gonna do knit two, purl two, the rest of the way across. So essentially what we're doing is making little boxes, hence the name box stitch, in our knitting with a collection of four stitches of knits and four stitches of purls across our work. So the, here in row three, you can see that I changed it up and we had two rows of knit stitches here and now you can see the two purl bumps. That's where we switched it up to start to form the second row of boxes in our swatch. Looking at the other side, we're gonna do what we did in row one which is knit two, and then purl two, knit two across. And one more set of purl two, and knit two. All right, so now you can fully see our little checkerboard has formed and right here we've got, again, the little sets of four knit stitches and then the sets of four purls. So if you look at the bigger swatch right here, you can see on a larger scale the checkerboarding of our work and it gives it this nice ridged texture, which is always great in knitting. And what's really great about the box stitch is that it has no wrong side visually unless you add a border or something like that. Wasn't this a fun and easy stitch to learn? If you agree or just liked this video, give us, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions or tips or tricks for how you've used the box stitch. And don't forget to subscribe for even more video tutorials.